The talking is over. It's time to play some football. Carolina Panthers starting their camp in Spartanburg. They had their first practice tonight for Ron Rivera's team, hoping this year's camp helps them get off to a quick start after slow ones doomed in the last two years. One reason for the optimism, the continued growth of talented quarterback Cam Newton. He said two good years to start his career. Stats there now just needs the wins. He says it's all starts in Spartanburg. We're trying to focus on, you know, building the identity. You know, trying to get comfortable in, in, in the things that we know we can be good at, you know. And uh, that's what Coach uh, Shula is trying to instill in us right now, having a, a, a good sense of morale, uh, be up tempo, and, uh, you know, uh, execute each and every play. Well, from Major League Baseball to the ultimate air dogs, Milt Wilcox makes a living doing what he loves. As Luke Nokstein found out, this former pro baseball star now travels the country showcasing a unique sport. Whoa! We are here in beautiful downtown Asheville at the corner of Lexington and Patton for the 35th Belshire Street Festival. And joining me now is a very special guy, Milt Wilcox. And Milt, you're with the Ultimate Air Dogs. Basically, it's just dogs having fun. And, that, and as you can tell, the people love it. We got tons of dogs. Probably over 57 different dogs are going to be here. A lot of them local dogs. Milt and the Ultimate Air Dogs have traveled to 80 different cities to showcase their unique talents. Anybody with a dog to get them to uh, swim can bring them out, show the dogs off. And the people like to brag about their dogs and stuff like, like they do their kids. Milt was a Major League Baseball pitcher from 1970 until 1986. He won 17 games in 1984, helping the Detroit Tigers win the World Series. I spent 10 years with the Detroit Tigers. 1984, we won the World Series. I was a starting pitcher on that team and won 17 games. So from there to dog, to dog shows. I don't know how I got there, but that's where I'm at right now. The Ultimate Air Dogs compete all weekend long in downtown Asheville at Belshire. I'm Luke Notestein for News 13 Sports. Now that's entertainment. <laughs> Asheville tourists hoping to celebrate a Bell Share Friday with a big win over visiting Rome tonight. Big crowd to see the game and fireworks after. But in the top of the fifth, tees down 2-1. to one. Asheville showing some good defense. Dylan Thomas feels this single and right and fires a bullet to second to get the force out. A lot of defense, but not enough offense tonight as the Braves beat them 7-3.